Hi, I'm Yana Blue, and I'm a big believer in doing it yourself. Sometimes what you want doesn't exist until you make it. Making something yourself can require learning new skills and pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. But from my experience, it's always worth it. If you want it, build it, build it yourself. And if you need help, then ask for help. Time to buckle down, get to work, I'll do what it takes to get her done. If you want it, build it, build it yourself. And if you need help, then ask for help. Time to buckle down, get to work, I'll do what it takes to get her done. In this first episode of Get Her Done, I wanted to talk about the new business cards I've been making for Glitterous Wolfus. I've been trying to get better at self-promotion, and a big part of that is just having something to hand to someone after I have a conversation with them about it. When I designed my logo, I drew it by hand, scanned it, and cleaned it up in Photoshop. I really value the handmade over the mass-produced and wanted my business cards to exemplify that. So I took an index card, which is a little thicker than regular paper, traced the logo, then cut it out as a stencil. I experimented with stenciling business cards but wasn't satisfied with the results, so I bought a linoleum block for a couple dollars, stenciled my logo on that, and used a cutting tool to carve away the negative space. I already had metallic stamp pads, so all I needed was paper. I got black poster board for less than a dollar, then used silver spray paint I already had to splatter. Already got. If you want it, build and build it yourself. And if you need help, then ask for help. Got to buckle down, get to work, on do what it takes to get it. So there's my fully stamped sheet. I managed to fit 54 logos on there. For cutting them out, uh, what I like to do is take projects with me when I ride the bus to work or wherever. So here's a more manageable size. I've got a gold sharpie here just to fill in anywhere the letters don't quite connect. I like getting things done while I'm on the bus because I like to make good use of my time. Plus, I have people looking over my shoulder and seeing my logo, which can lead to conversations and might result in me giving someone a card. I use a silver gel pen to write on the backs, waiting for stoplights so it isn't too wobbly. And I don't write this on every card. Uh, as far as I know, I'm the only one using Glitterous Wolfus, so if they type those words in, my content will come up. I've had a couple people ask me, aren't these a little bit big and time intensive? And the answer is yes and yes. They are still small enough to fit in most wallets. And I have a very high standard for aesthetics, and when I was pricing printing business cards, adding any kind of specialty element that might make it sparkly like this was going to cost way too much money. I have more time than I have money, so I don't mind putting in the time to make cards where each one is going to be unique and part of the conversation I have with anyone I hand it to. I'm not just handing these out to everyone I meet. This shows I care that I'm giving you this card. I made this by hand. This is something that's important to me. If you want it, build, build it yourself, and if you need 